Welcome in the universe community. My name is Sanchita Pandey and our topic for today is the eight pillars of prosperity as given by the great author James Allen. Here we go. The first pillar of prosperity that James Allen has mentioned is energy. You know it. Energy is neutral. It is neither good or bad. It all depends on where you are directing your energy towards. Towards positive things, towards something which gives you energy or towards negative things that sucks out the energy out of you. Energy also is contagious. So you have to see where you are standing. You have to see the people you are surrounded with because energy is transferred whether it is positive energy or negative energy that is why sometimes you are just inspired by somebody and after meeting someone it is like you feel energy less now what does no energy mean by no energy it means that you are lazy you do not want to work hard you procrastinate your work but being high in energy will mean promptness in work, inspired action, you going for inspired action, you are aware about your work, you are constantly learning and upgrading your skills, you do reliable work and you have aptitude for your skill and so you love your work and you enjoy doing it. So energy is what matters, it doesn't matter what age you are what matters is your energy and let your energy be positive and put that positivity of your energy and lot of love in any work that you are doing for success and prosperity in your life the second pillar of prosperity as advised by james allen is economy now everything should be done in moderation even if you are hard working you should know when to stop you must know when to take rest but how much of rest is enough too much of rest is also not good sleep is beneficial but how much of sleep so everything you do be it exercise be it work be it expenditure or anything it must be done in moderation even intake of food is good for your energy and for your health but if you take in too much of food, more than you require, then you will feel lethargic. The third pillar of prosperity is integrity. Now you cannot be honest as well as dishonest. There is nothing like approximate honesty. Either you are honest or you are on the other side that is towards dishonesty. So you should not deceive or be on dishonest in word, in gesture or in action so everything you do must be honest now you need to be very fearless to be honest because you have to take the right decisions you don't have to be a people pleaser you have to speak your truth to be honest and that needs lot of fearlessness and also you have to be aligned with your purpose in mind so that in life so that you rise above petty things and you do not focus on petty disputes, petty things, pleasing everybody around you, but only you are concerned with honesty, honest work, real work, and whatever you speak, it is authentic and you speak the truth, you align with the truth, and that is nothing less than divinity itself. The fourth pillar of prosperity as given by James Allen is system now by system it means you going for systematic work there is orderliness in everything you do you do not waste time looking for things nothing is seen you take care of your own energy and time and you keep things in their proper places so that there is least wastage of energy and time you respect your own time and you respect others time and you keep your things simple you keep your work quite simple then system will also include dedication towards your work you are persistent and very regular with your work whatever you do you do it regularly that discipline is there in your work and system will also include 
system of your mind your mind is also orderly that means even in confusion you know how to keep your balance of mind you know how to trust your intuition to take your decisions and you take your own decisions because you trust in yourself you feel worthy and you are guided by your in intuition and your experiences in life and by the higher source so that is system doing good work doing disciplined work doing regular work and that also includes good energy for your work aptitude and interest in your work the fifth pillar of prosperity as proposed by the author james allen is sympathy now you know that you are not doing you are being done so you are not boastful of anything that you have achieved in your life you are a kind and compassionate being and you you feel connected with everything and everyone around you you know that there is a universe within you also and as you clear up and beautify that universe your outer world also changes for the better everything you do you offer to the god it is like god working through you and that connectedness with everyone keeps you very kind and compassionate you you know your purpose in life but you also use it to serve others to help others you are very generous you are kind you are considerate about the feelings of others and you rise above your ego because you know that ego means to edge god out the sixth pillar of prosperity as given by the author james allen is sincerity now you know you understand now that when you deceive others it is nobody else you are deceiving you are deceiving yourself so you are more authentic you are sincere you are yourself you have self knowledge you have discovered yourself you have true knowledge about who you actually are and so that is the true knowledge actually knowing yourself is the highest knowledge and you are authentic and truthful in whatever you say whatever you do you are more you and you keep it simple the seventh pillar of prosperity as given by james allen is impartiality now you are open to understand the other person's point of view also you let in light to understand various facets of a single issue so you are open and not close to other people's opinions and when you, whenever you see reality you take in that reality but you are tranquil even in the most difficult of circumstances and so impartiality would include facets of your personality like justice wisdom patience and calmness the eighth pillar of prosperity as given by author james allen is self reliance self reliance would mean taking responsibility for your own words and actions taking responsibility for your life emerson has also spoken a lot about self reliance self reliance would mean that you respect your freedom but you also understand that there is lot of responsibility that comes with this kind of freedom also you never compromise with evil at any cost you have your own constitution and you follow that in a constitution you are co-creating with the universe and you know that and so you walk on this path of spirituality on the path of your purpose in life with lot of dedication discipline and trust in the higher source riches don't make you idle instead they spur you to work harder and even if you do not belong to a very very rich section of the society that doesn't deter you from dreaming big or from achieving what you have desired in life because you know that it doesn't matter where you come from what matters is where are you heading to where are you going so that is what will define you and all that matters is your sincere work your inspired action and how big can you dream in life and and how positive you are about your those dreams so once you believe in yourself all your dreams 
will come true. So these are the eight pillars of prosperity given by author James Allen, who is also the author of As a Man Thinketh. These are the eight pillars of prosperity that can give you lot of abundance and prosperity in your life. So just check out these eight pillars of prosperity and include them in your day-to-day -day activities, day-to-day -day ways of thinking because your thoughts are energy and they are the building blocks of your life. So if you think right, you will act right and this becomes your habit and all your dreams will come true when you are treading on the right path. This is all in this video. Do let me know how you like this video. If you have come here for the first time, then do remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can receive our latest uploads. I am Sanchita Pandey, your mentor and spiritual guide. And my message as always is, I love you. I send you my love and blessings. Take care of yourself. Take care of your health and trust in God because he is your protector. I wish abundance, prosperity, good health, lot of happiness and love in your life. Thank you so much for being here with me. Namaste.